so many times I to pray Because I thought you wouldn't help me What's up, Chief? What's going on? Did TikTok? Huh? TikTok? TikTok, yeah. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Take me closer to your holy presence. Different angles. Ah! Oh. So many nights I've been away Thinking how tomorrow should be And so many times I didn't pray Because I thought you wouldn't help me so many times I tried my best, but there's no way without you here. Without you here, Holy Spirit, take me closer to your holy presence. Believe it or not, that's just a warm up. Kinda, kinda. I mean, it's like the first working set of my chest day. But um, that usually starts me off with a good pump. I was actually watching a guy who, uh, um, he specializes in calisthenics. And he was talking about how the beginning of calisthenics is like, you need to learn how to do push-ups with your body weight. You need to learn how to do pull-ups with your body weight. And he gave like different exercises that you can start off with. And it's crazy because for me, I have a hip injury um, that didn't heal right. So it developed into an arthritis and uh, it flares up every now and then. I'm feeling it a little bit because I had leg day yesterday. And praise the most high man that I can even have leg days because it's been years, you know, like that's why. It's like, that's what I've been building up to. Um, and my legs are, man, if you knew me years back, you know, I was known for having trunks, man. But, um, cause I grew up playing soccer, but yeah, uh, that injury definitely changed the game for me, but it made me start from the beginning with eight pound dumbbells and resistance bands. And I literally had to build myself back up to what you see now, you know, out here. Still on the journey, but nonetheless, it's, uh, refreshing to be here but yeah it's like I feel like I have so much more strength than I did in the past because uh, I had to start off with just going back to basics I couldn't really do weights um, you know like I just started inching back up to the 30s and you know I'll creep in the 40s every now and then but for the most part I don't really go above 30 35 so yeah man uh, if you're out there and you think that you need super heavy weight you don't you don't need super heavy weight um, it's good to have progressive overload but 
there's different ways to trick your body. Like for me, I have to, because if I do too heavy, I can flare myself back up again. And that can mean I'm not walking for weeks, you know what I mean? So, or months, I've been out for months at times where I just overdo it. Um, I'm actually just coming back from, you know, two months of just like no activity. Cause I went out and played soccer, which I haven't done in four years. And yeah, I went a little too hard, but anyways, guys, um, just keep progressing, man. You know, there's ways to manipulate, um, uh, mechanical stress, you know, on your body. And there's ways that you can, um, trigger the same stimulus, if you will, and still be able to have muscle growth. And as long as you're eating right, that'll help as well too. So anyways, let's get back to this workout, y'all. Wish me luck. <laughs> going on peace and blessings family i uh, just wanted to uh, break away after the workout and just uh get some bible reading time out here uh super nice out very chill and um good weather in florida so if i'm not sweating at night we're doing good but anyways man um so i was just reflecting as i was reading um starting back from genesis just to be able to get more context as I uh, go precept upon precept, line upon line, uh, to gain more understanding, I uh, have been feeling called, you know, to just go to the very beginning um, as I've been going through lessons and, you know, again, gaining understanding um, from elders as I uh, read for myself, right? Because it says in Second Timothy, I believe, study to show thyself approved unto God, right? Unto the Most High. So we should be studying in general, right? Um, just to... Uh, a lot further align ourselves and again please the most high but anyways um so in reading genesis it's actually beautiful you know just to kind of see the whole love stories and um you know abraham and sarah and then how you know they had passed on certain customs to uh isaac and uh made sure that you know he got a wife that was fitting you know a wife that was um pleasing you know to the entire bloodline and uh it's just crazy you know it's just it just emphasizes the importance of just making sure that you again test the spirits right speaking to my fellas out there man it's like it could be easy to just go for that girl who's got the nice body and all of that but what's her mind on you know what's her spirit on and um you know in this day and age it's, it's even scarier because you know a girl could just be doing the most you know on social media but then she'll still put you know psalms 37 or something on her profile or the most popular one proverbs 31 and uh it's like the spirit the season of jezebel you know where it's like let me just wear the mask that you know i'm religious and i'm into that because it's almost like a trend thing right um realizing that you know men <laughs> although we do have our lustful side uh, even men who aren't necessarily in the fold of spirituality and whatnot are 
uh, realizing that it's like, no, you actually do want that like quiet um, to herself girl, not the girl who's out there on the streets, who's loud and boisterous and all of that, because that'll come with very loud and boisterous problems as well, too. So it's, it's actually funny um how it's 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 coming around full circle and men are like ah man i want a valuable woman though you know i don't want a woman who's just out here for the streets and uh you know doing of and all of that but anyways um again the 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 portion of a, a wicked man is given a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man so if you're attracting crazies you got to really dig deep right um i know i make i, I want to make this channel uh about working out but i also want to exercise the spirit as well right exercise the mind um you know uh developing more understanding not just you know in physicality but also knowing that it's really a mental game and if you have been working out for a period of time you know how mental the gym is but again how we do one thing is how we do everything so anyways uh i was reading in genesis 28 though and uh i had labeled this my jacob season because uh after jacob had gotten the blessing and esau was like as soon as isaac passes away i'm killing jacob uh rebecca had caught word of that and had told jacob to uh flee and isaac was like okay you know flee but also make sure that you go to this particular place to get a wife from this particular place because i don't want you getting a wife from canaan right uh which funnily enough esau had taken heed of that and and you know realized that not only did the family not see uh they weren't pleased you know with the women of canaan and they saw them as evil but um also that jacob his brother esau's brother was uh encouraged you know to not mess with these women and to go instead to another place and i guess out of spite um esau did the opposite right and he grieved as his family but um and we see many uh, examples of that <laughs> before I go on. We see many examples of that, right? Where it's like your family is trying to tell you like, yo, this girl is not good for you, right? And some of us, we just, you know, stay bullheaded and do our thing until we eventually get hurt. And some of us have to learn that way, but um, we don't have to, right? We don't have to. So anyways, um, when Jacob was told to go to Pandan Pandanaram uh, to link up with uh, Laban, and to seek a wife within that bloodline because that'll be a, a fair wife that'll be a wife that is pleasing a wife of good spirits etc um that will you know make your seed plentiful and fruitful and abundant and you'll create a multitude all these promises were given and they were saying like god will bless you as well too um you know jacob went to do that but on the way there he had found a particular place where he rested his head and it says he gathered stones as pillows for his head and um you know in this place he actually got a dream right and he saw a ladder descending from heaven and he saw angels ascending and descending from it and i just want to read uh, a portion of that actually is genesis 28 verse 15 28 verse 11 through 15 so let me read that for you really quickly and it says and he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set and he took of, st of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep and he dreamed and behold a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached the reached to heaven and behold the angels of god ascending and descending on it and behold the lord stood above it and said i am the lord god of abraham thy father and the god of isaac the land whereupon or whereon thou liest to thee will I give it, and to thy seed, and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south, and in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. So Jacob basically wakes up after that. And he said, surely the Lord is in this place. And I knew it not. And he was afraid. So 
afraid in that context means he just pretty much woke up with a deep reverence, right? Because he's like, holy crap, like I'm realizing the gravity of this. He said, how dreadful is this place? This is none other but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob arose up early, and Jacob rose up early, sorry, in the morning, and took the stone that he had put for his pillows and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of that city was called Luz at first. And Jacob vowed a vow, right? So it's like he had a dream from the Most High. Um, he woke up convicted about it, and then he immediately acted on it, right? He uh, went ahead, built a pillar, blessed it, right? And then went even further to make a vow. And, you know, it's interesting because I'm in a season like that where it's like I'm realizing that despite all the craziness that's going on in my life, and the leaps of faith that I have taken that scare me, um, it's given me a deeper reverence of the Most High because I'm seeing how he acts and how he moves in my life. And uh, it's like uh, what Ishan Burgundy said. He said, uh, blessings, go, blessings come down when faith and obedience go up, right? And um, it's just amazing to see, you know, because it's it's really just emphasizing that, like, okay, yeah, again, like he, like the Most High said, he said, I will be with thee, right? And I will keep thee in all places whether thou goest and will bring thee again into this land, right? So he's going to be with me throughout everything, right? Throughout thick and thin. So I don't need to necessarily worry about anything. And even though it's a natural human thing to worry, it's like I'm seeing it as this is something that I've been doing for a long time, right? Worrying and, you know, trying to figure this out and that out. And the Most High is really just trying to say, bro, just let go. And let me, right, let me do everything that you're trying to do out of your own power. Now, obviously, there's an effort, there's a work, there's an application of myself um, that has to be brought forth or put forth. But um, as far as like the heavy lifting and the yoke of it and, you know, trying to just figure it all out. You know, I, I found one gray hair right here. I was like, bro, this is crazy. You know, I've never had this many gray hairs. You know, I got one right here. I got one right here. And then I got one here somewhere and then one popping up right there. I was like, that's nuts. But again, I'm, I'm in a season where it's like I'm I'm dying to the old self. And I've been in many seasons where I've had to die to self. But this one is uh, the most vivid because, again, I'm walking closest with the most high. But um, it's like I need to make a vow, you know, moving forward. And this is the vow I'm going to read right here. So it says uh, in uh, Genesis 28, verse 20, And Jacob vowed a vow, saying, If God will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on, which is clothing, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall the Lord be my God. And this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tenth unto thee, right? So that's talking about the tithe, which is pretty crazy because it's like I've been coming across videos that talk about tithing. Um, I play videos that, that you know, go over scripture and prophecy and all this stuff while I sleep um, just to be protected in that way. Um, Ishan Burgundy has a great channel where he, uh, you know, has like an eight hour long video where he's reading Bible uh, scriptures and then it's uh, like rain or wind or something in the background just to kind of make it like a calm aesthetic and um, I'll listen to that. But it's like as I'm waking up in the morning, it'll be right where like I could tell God speaking to me. It's insane. And, um, you know, the other the other week I was hearing, you know, the power of tithing and how God, you know, is really big on that. Um, and and then I have a, a brother of mine. Right. Who uh, also has been mentioning it to me, you know, cause I've been explaining kind of what I've been going through. He's like, brother, like my life changed when I started to tithe. And I always had hesitation tithing because I was like, man, I don't trust, you know, churches here. You know, right. And rightfully so with some of the stuff that I've been learning and been coming across. And, uh, I can't say I've experienced, you know, like negative things as far as like giving a tithe and the church using it for bad. But, uh, when you start understanding the backgrounds of these churches, the Roman Catholic influence, it's like, yeah, be careful, right? Be careful what churches you're tapping into. But, um, you know, for me, I'm tapped into one now that I can trust and that I know um, and rest assured knowing that, like, they're doing the right thing with that. And uh, I'm in an academy of theirs as well, too. So, yeah, man, um, it's just crazy that, like, I read to that part and I was like, wow, that there it is again right in my face telling me, like, I need to start putting forth that tenth of an income. And this is a season where it's like I'm on full commission. So it's like, oh, God, you know, uh, nervousness and gasps and all of that. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, it's, it's, what, it's what I'm called to do. And at the end of the day, it's like whatever earnings I get, that's his, right? That's the most highs. It's not, it's not mine, so I can't even sit here and covet it. But um, yeah, anyways, it's my Jacob season. So I'm going to leave that there. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Love y'all. Peace. I'm